Hello and welcome to the Jack Dimmer Ford YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be providing an overview of the dashboard display found on most new Ford vehicles. I'm going to show you step by step how to navigate through the menus and also change some different settings to fit your preferences. On most new Ford vehicles, the dashboard instrument display cluster is going to be split into two sides surrounding your speedometer. Each side of the display is controlled by the corresponding directional pad on the steering wheel. The left display contains the majority of the vehicle information, including access to average miles per gallon, trip info, safety features, and other vehicle preferences. The right display is used to control different media sources. Let's begin by going through the different menu options on the left hand side display. The main menu contains the display mode, trip 1 and 2, fuel economy, driver assist, and settings. To enter a subset of the main menu, push the right side of the directional pad. Once you enter the next menu, you can push up or down on the directional pad to view the different screens within that menu. To exit the menu that you're in, simply press left on the directional pad. Driver Assist is an important section to become familiar with because it has many of the settings regarding your Ford vehicle's advanced safety features. Here you can choose whether or not you want your mirrors to glow when another vehicle is in your blind spot. You can also choose whether or not you want to receive a cross traffic alert when you're backing out of a parking spot and the sensors detect another oncoming vehicle. The cruise control setting is used to toggle in between a traditional cruise control and Ford's adaptive cruise control system. This is another important area to remember if your car sensors ever become covered with snow, ice, mud, or anything that doesn't allow your vehicle to use the adaptive cruise feature. The driver alert is similar to the cross traffic alert in which the vehicle will alert you if you're pulling up on another car too fast and the system detects a possible collision. The lane keeping system menu allows you to change the sensitivity that your car will alert you when you begin to depart from your lane with the system engaged. The mode section lets you choose if you want to hear an alert from your car, a vibration in your steering wheel, or both when you are departing from a lane. Continuing down the menu, next we have pre-collision. In this menu, you can change the sensitivity that the vehicle responds. Drivers also have the option to toggle on or off the evasive steering assist and active braking. Please note that these options are only for vehicles that have Ford's Copilot 360 Plus Assist package. The final menu option in the driver assist category is a toggle for trailer sway to have the vehicle system assist you while you are towing. In the settings menu, you will see subsets for vehicle, my key, and display setup. Vehicle options are less frequently modified, but it's still good to know where to look for them. Easy entry and exit is the feature that moves your power seat forward or backwards when you enter or exit the vehicle. The lighting section contains options for whether or not you want your high beams to turn on automatically at night when your car doesn't detect another car ahead of you. You can also choose to have your daytime running lamps on or not. The auto lamp delay will determine how long your running lamps stay on once you have turned off your vehicle. The lock section contains the preferences for unlocking your vehicle when your key fob is in close proximity. When mislock is enabled, if you accidentally or intentionally lock your keys in your car, the car will automatically unlock the doors and beep the horn to alert you. Switch inhibit prevents someone from unlocking your car from the inside if you happen to leave your windows down. On the next page of the vehicle settings menu, you will see more options for what I consider the self-explanatory areas. Do you want your power liftgate to function? Do you want your remote start to function? Do you want your windows to function, etc.? I have found it's best to leave these sections alone. Backing out of the vehicle subsection, we now see the My Key section and Display section. 
My key can be programmed from this section and I'll provide another video explaining that setup more in depth. The display setup is used for changing the metrics your vehicle is set to, so it's best to leave those alone unless you plan on driving your car out of the country. The left side display certainly has a lot of information to remember. Luckily, the right hand side is much more simple. The directional pad functions the same as before. Right to enter categories and left to exit them. There are only three sections on the right hand display. Entertainment for controlling your vehicle's audio. Navigation for showing a compass as well as turn by turn navigation when a route is set and phone for viewing your call history. There you have it. Everything you need to know about your Ford dashboard display. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if this helped you learn more about your Ford vehicle today. If you have any additional questions or need more help, feel free to leave a comment below and I'd be more than happy to respond.